In this video, we're going to talk about architecture because very soon we're going to start coding, but what kind of architecture are we going to use in order to finish this uh, pretty big system? Traditionally, we have the layered system, which, you know, we have a database, right? And then we have our data access layer depends on the database. Nowadays, we often call the database access layer uh, repository. And then on top of that, we have business logic layer. And finally, we have our user interface layer. But this is not going to be the architecture that we are going to use in this course. We are going to use clean architecture. So what is clean architecture? So if you do a Google search, uh, very soon you will find this blog post from cleancoder.com. So this is from Robert Martin. This puts everything in the onion structure, right? So you can see that in the middle, it's the entities. And then you have use cases and everything else, right? The entities are basically the, the models, right? The classes that will be used in, in all kinds of different layers, right? It's very important to notice that the dependencies are going inside, right? So the outer rings are dependent on the inner rings, not the other way around. So let's focus on the core. In my opinion, the core are both the entities as well as the use cases. So the entities uh, can contain the model classes as well as some logic that is not application dependent, right? So it's basically a lot of validations. You're creating application that stores personal information. And there's this death state and the birth state. So a very, very basic validation is that the birth state has to be earlier than the death state, right? So those kind of logic is, is the core that is not dependent on applications, right? Even when you use pen and paper, you are still going to have uh, those validations, the same logic. So those logic will go into the entities layer along with those model classes. Whereas the use cases layer, which is one layer above that, that one stores the application logics. The logic in the use cases layer is for the application. So without the application, those logic won't exist. Whereas within the entity, those business logic are those logic that doesn't depend on any applications. Without existence of applications, you still have those logic because even when you run your business with pen and paper, you still have those logic, right? And another thing, so we can see that we have user interface on the outside, which is very, very understandable because, you know, uh, UI is always dependent on uh, use cases and entities, right? But you have this database and you have devices, right? So the the uh, database and devices, are, those are I.O. devices. Why? Uh, they are also outside instead of inside, right? So if we look at this typical scenario. The database is the bottom layer, means uh, everything on top of that is dependent on database. Whereas in clean architecture, uh, the database and devices are uh, on the outside, right? So to understand this part, uh, imagine you are creating Visual Studio, but you know that Visual Studio can have plugins, right? So let's imagine this is a plugin, right? And this is a plugin and this is another plugin. So these plugins can be plugged into uh, Visual Studio to extend Visual Studio's functionalities. You always create Visual Studio first and then plugins can be developed by someone else, uh, not Microsoft, someone else, right? Because Visual Studio is developed by, by Microsoft, but anybody can create Visual Studio plugins. So how does that work? Well, that's very simple because Visual Studios, when it's created, uh, you need to create the interfaces so that when other people create plugins, they can just look at the interfaces. As long as they abide by the interfaces, then they can talk to Visual Studio, right? Visual Studio then can use them because of the compliance to the interface that's already created by, by Visual Studio team. So the key here is that the plugin interface is created ahead of the time. Same thing here, when you create use cases and when you want to talk to the database to pull data into, to use case, to use, 
your use case layer shouldn't be dependent on the databases or, or a file or uh, or api for example uh, they should be the other way around which means your use case layer right, use cases layer should contain a bunch of interfaces right and then your use case will talk to the interface and then you will create the database layer as plugins to plug into your use case layer that's why you have your database devices layer on the very outer ring so the keys to the clean architecture are, are not those technologies uh, or the tools but these two things use case driven and plugin based right so you always look at the use cases first you create the use cases first you drive your software development by use cases of course you can have your unit tests on top of use cases to do test driven development but uh, even when you do TDD, you still think about use cases and what use, use cases you want to test. And then you can start with your uh, testing layer and go into the use cases layer, go into entities, uh, create your database interfaces within this uh, use cases. And then you can plug in your database repositories into your use cases, right? So the first key here is use case driven. And the second key here is plugin based, right? Use case driven is referring to the core, and the plugin based is referring to any IO devices, any IO operations will be in the DB layer that is outside of everything, right? It's the outer ring. So that's clean architecture. And if you don't understand, because this is very theoretical, in the rest of our course, you will have a lot of opportunity to, to see how it actually goes when we write the code. And of, of course, I have a separate course for clean architecture. You can look in my website, franklucs.com, and find the clean architecture course, which is on Udemy.